and welcome to another video. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for all the feedback on the video that I dropped yesterday in regards to how to utilize Pancake Swap. Thanks very much, much appreciated. Uh, so, this little video is mainly for US citizens, but uh, I'm going to cover some aspects to. Uh, that applies to everybody that wants to use PancakeSwap and never used it before, never set up a MetaMask wallet. But for US citizens, uh, mainly is that you, in the US, you have very specific legislation, regulations, certain states that applies to US-based uh, exchanges like Binance uh, US and Crypto.com. Uh, so when you try to withdraw your BNB, uh, to directly to MetaMask, it won't allow you to do it. So the purpose of this video is to virtually go step by step setting up a MetaMask wallet for those that need that guidance, but for US citizens is virtually give you a solution into how you can use the uh, the Binance Chain wallet to move the BNB to it and then move it from there into the Binance network, which then gives you access to pancake swap and moving the BNB to buy swap coins, provide liquidity, uh, whatever you want to do. So I hope this helps. Uh, I, I'm going to use a fresh account, nothing on it. So I'm going to do step by step by step by step. So I'm going to move stuff around. Let's get this sorted. So apologies if you hear my kids in the background, they're off school for a week. So um, and I hope the sound is loud enough. Let me just double check. Yeah, should be fine. But again, any questions on this, just let me know in the comments on this video, uh, which will, will go live today. So let's get started. Uh, I'm using Chrome, but uh, this also works on uh, other, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, search engines or such like Brave, but I'm using Chrome as an example. So let's get started. We are going to go and look for MetaMask Chrome Wallet. And we're going to go to the uh, Chrome Web Store. We're going to add MetaMask Wallet to Chrome. Add extension. And it should pop up up here when it's done. Okay, there it is, it's been added. Now if you open that up and you want to make sure you pin it so it's available. Okay, so we're gonna get, get started. Now, uh, if you, we're gonna approach this as if you never had a MetaMask wallet and you cre we're gonna create one from scratch. Okay, so this account, once it's done, I'm gonna delete it. So I'm gonna show all the details. All right, so uh, put a password. So if I use um, control, okay. That's. okay, tick create. Right, so this is very important. Uh, you're going to have uh, what we call a backup phrase. So for every reason, your uh, computer, your Windows, your PC, anything gets corrupted, you can load up MetaMask extension to another device and input this recovery. Okay. And make sure that you, uh, I'm just going to put this in a notepad for the time being. Uh, you write this down on a piece of paper, keep it safe somewhere. All right, take a picture of it, print it, whatever you need to do. All right, because if you don't have this, you will not be able to recover your account. Okay, so we're going to press next. It's going to ask you to confirm the system ensure that you wrote it down. Okay each phrase in order okay so we have that one that one uh, that one that one that one that one you only 
have to do this once at the, at the setup. Okay, so you pass the test, congratulations, all done. So, just lots of information. So, this is the wallet by default. You will notice it's on the Ethereum mainnet. If you, um, if you open another tab and go pancake swap, okay, and click on it automatically your metamask wallet wants to connect to it and it's on the ethereum network so it should let's just say it's going to switch allow the site to switch the network yes okay confirm it so if you click on it you can see it's on the binance smart chain mainnet all righty so that's pretty much how you set up you can swap over so it's been added. You can swap over. If you're using Uniswap, you have to use the Ethereum mainnet, the Binance Smart Chain. So that's step one. You have to set up a MetaMask wallet. So then you can virtually use to add um, your assets into it and then utilize PancakeSwap. So we're going to shut this down. We're going uh, to log out from the uh, just left click, lock, and that's out. All right. So that's step number one. Now we need to have a look for the Binance um, chain wallet. Okay. So again, go to the Chrome Web Store. And we are going to use add Chrome, add extension, add the Chrome, add the extension. Okay, again, open it up, pin it so it's available. Now, open it up. There we go. So you can use an existing wallet or create a new one, right? Uh, to use an existing wallet, okay, you can use the imported seed, right, from your MetaMask and link it together. So we'll do that. See if that. Uh, new password. Started. and now you see you have the Binance Smart Chain Network but if you click there's the Binance Chain Smart Chain and Binance Chain Network all right now uh, the reason that we used the uh, seed feed phrase of the MetaMask wallet into this wallet is that when you connect to any Binance Smart Chain products, it all merges together. But there's an extra step that we need to do. So first of all, by default, it will come in the Binance Smart Chain network. We need to switch this over to the Binance Chain network. There's a difference, right? You're going to have an address there. So we're going to copy that. So this is going to be our deposit address for the BNB. Now, for the US residents, you go into your Binance US. And if I bring this window here very quickly, um, minus.com, but yours will be US. Uh, type in where you virtually have your BNB. You're going to go into your withdrawal. And you're going to go into uh, input address. I mean, there. And you can see it's BEP2 Binance Chain, right? You don't want to go to the smart chain. You want the Binance Chain, okay? Don't need to put a memo or anything. I mean, you can write something there, just to, you know, test. Um, 
don't have to uh, just a little bit of BNB there's a little fee okay uh, so to work out how much is this going to cost you to move okay so um, 0 0.0005 times the current price which is four hundred and four dollars that's about 20 cents okay so you press withdraw and continue it's going to get your security okay so I'll get your phone verification so I'll do that very quickly uh, so I might have to blur the uh, screen because I don't want you know people to know my private stuff so if so I'll send code to the phone email bit warm in here today nice hot weather in the UK so now that's been sent to the address of our newly made uh, wallet so complete okay so we don't need that anymore uh, we're gonna bring it will normally take about two minutes to arrive okay so hopefully a couple of minutes and it should have arrived there it is so this is the BNB that we transferred from the Binance desktop exchange into the Binance chain network now we need to send this within the network from this address into the Binance Smart Chain network so if you click on it copy the address important step the Binance Smart Chain network that's where 2 is going to this is where you're going to deposit switch over to where you initially deposited okay and you're going to click send paste the address and you can see here cross chain transfer on the Binance smart chain we're going to virtually put the amount and send okay so it tells you it's coming from the Binance chain network to the Binance smart chain network send transaction completed so now that's empty but if you switch over to the smart chain there it is okay so far okay so now that I have our BNB on the Binance smart chain network let's bring pancake swap up and we're going to connect so let's say that we want some uh, use the BNB to change a to a different token unlocked wallet Binance chain wallet that's unlocked it and the BNB that you see that we've deposited from the desktop is there on your balance ready to you know swap over if you want to swap over okay um, or if you want to buy a token so you can go to a farm so let's have a look at some of the farms let's say in this case uh, APR was the highest one at the moment uh, a little bit slow Ooh, 800 so if you want to buy some some of any of these tokens that is needed so you've got the BNB buy the token create the uh, uh, the liquidity provider token and st stake it and start earning uh, then another thing that we need to check is we use the feed the seed phrase from the metamask wallet so let's log in into that and there you go binance smart chain mainnet and that's this there you go and it's in there alrighty so just make sure that you connect first with the Binance chain and that's the reason why we use the seed phrase 
So when we are on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, it all merges together. All right, so when you withdraw, okay, um, so if you send it through here, so just make sure when you send it, do not, I repeat, do not send it directly to the Binance Smart Chain network. Send it to the Binance Chain, not the Smart Chain first, then from this one to this one. Okay, so I hope that you found that useful and uh, especially for US residents that's a lot of states have a lot of laws and so hopefully that makes it a little bit easier uh, for you guys to earn a passive income you know and this is just an example uh, on the pancake swap but firstly any DEXs that uses the Binance Smart Chain this works for it okay so I hope this has been of use a uh, nice quick easy guide with a solution there's other solution like I said earlier on the video using VPN but that's a little bit more risky okay this actually works I'm just showing you how it does all right so until next time take care bye